Hello and welcome to the Minecraft series of the Artificial Intelligence Plays channel. That's right, you heard correctly, we have an AI that is capable of playing Minecraft. In this series, we'll be exploring the vast and open world of Minecraft through the eyes of our AI, as it learns and adapts to the game's features and mechanics. With each passing episode, we'll be showcasing the AI's progress and highlighting its achievements, as well as discussing its decision-making process and how it approaches different challenges within the game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy us on this exciting journey as we witness the capabilities of artificial intelligence in the world of Minecraft. It appears that the artificial intelligence system within Minecraft is currently engaged in the process of sorting out its inventory in order to begin its gameplay. This activity is an important step in the game as it allows the AI to properly manage its resources and items, ultimately leading to a more successful gameplay experience. It is interesting to note that the level of complexity that this is involved in the decision making process of the AI as it determines which items to keep and which to discard, and in which order to organise them. It is clear that the developers of the Minecraft have put a great deal of thought and effort into creating an AI system that is both intelligent and efficient, and it will be exciting to see how this system continues to evolve and improve in the future. The Minecraft AI seems to be diligently carrying out its tasks of feeding the chickens in the designated chicken coop hole. It is fascinating to observe how technology has advanced to a point where automated systems can perform tasks that were once solely carried out by humans. This development has led to increased efficiency and productivity in various areas, such as agriculture and manufacturing. While some may worry about the potential job losses that automation could cause, it's important to recognize that these systems can also create new jobs and opportunities for individuals with the skills to operate and maintain them. Overall, the Minecraft AI's chicken feeding activities serve as a testament to the remarkable capabilities of modern technology. Now that the wheat has grown to maturity, it is time to begin the process of harvesting it within the game of Minecraft. This process involves gathering the wheat by hand or with a tool such as a hoe and then collecting it into a pile. Once the wheat has been harvested, it can be used in a variety of ways such as to create a bread or as a source of food for farm animals. In addition to wheat, there are other crops that can be grown or harvested in Minecraft such as carrots, potatoes and sugarcane. Each crop has its own unique properties and uses within the game, making farming an exciting and rewarding experience for all players of all levels. After spending a considerable amount of time in the Minecraft mines, we emerged to find a vast field of fully grown wheat. It was a pleasant surprise to see a, such a bountiful harvest waiting for us. The wheat was tall and golden, swaying gently in the breeze. It was clear that the previous inhabitants of this land had put a lot of hard work to cultivate such a crop. The sight of the wheat was a testament to the power, dedication and perseverance. It reminds us how the hard work does pay off in the end. We spent some time admiring the wheat and then deciding to gather as much as we could carry. We knew that the wheat would be a valuable resource in our future endeavours and we were grateful to have stumbled upon it.
Oh no, a creeper has just blown up in our farm and caused a lot of damage. This is extremely frustrating as we have put a lot of effort into maintaining the farm and keep it running smoothly. Despite this setback, we are grateful that no one was hurt and that we were able to avoid any major damage to our property. Moving forward, we will need to take extra precautions to prevent this from happening again. This may involve reinforcing the farm's defences, setting up traps or alarms, or even enlisting the help of other players to keep watch over the area. While this is certainly a setback, it is also an opportunity to learn and grow as players and to come up with new strategies to protect our resources. Overall, we remain committed to our goal of creating a thriving and sustainable farm and we are confident that we can overcome any challenges that come and come our way. After a long day's work in the Minecraft world, it is important to take the time to wind down and prepare for a good night's sleep. This can involve a variety of activities, such as saving progress and logging out of the game, stretching your muscles and hydrating your body, and engaging in a calming routine to help your mind relax. For example, you might take a warm bath or shower, read a book or listen to smooth music, or practice meditation or deep breathing exercises. Whatever you choose to do, the key is to create a sense of calm and serenity that will help you fall asleep and recharge for the adventures that await you in the Minecraft world tomorrow. As I was playing Minecraft with my friends, we suddenly found ourselves being chased by a witch. The witch was quick and agile, and we were struggling to outrun her. We had to think fast to come up with a plan to escape. I suggested that we split up and head in different directions, hoping that the witch would only follow one of us, giving the others a chance to escape. My friends agreed, and we quickly spent, went our separate ways. As I was running, I remembered that witches are weak against fire. So I quickly crafted a flint and steel and set a fire to the ground behind me. The witch hesitated for a moment, giving me a chance to run further away. Eventually we were able to regroup and take down the witch together, but it was a close call. From that day on, we made sure to always be prepared for any danger that might come our way while playing Minecraft. It appears that the game of Minecraft, we have fallen victim to a witch who has poisoned us. This means that our health bar is decreasing, and we might act quickly to find a remedy. We need to search for ingredients to brew an antidote, which might include rare items like spider eyes or gas tears. Additionally, we should be cautious when exploring the world to avoid any further encounters with dangerous creatures like witches who can cause harm to our characters. Let's work together to gather resources, craft necessary items and overcome this obstacle in our Minecraft adventure. In the game of Minecraft, it seems that the artificial intelligence AI is programmed to prioritize seeking out shelter as a means of ensuring its own safety. This is likely due to the fact that the AI needs to recharge its health bar, which can only be done in a safe and secure location. Therefore, it is important for players to be aware of this behavior and to take this into consideration when playing the game. By understanding the priorities of the AI, the players can better plan their own strategies and gameplay to ensure success in Minecraft. It is now time to gather some wheat that has been grown in the field and then proceed to feed the cows that are in the Minecraft game. Minecraft is an open world video game that allows players to explore, build and interact with the environment around them. In the game, players can collect resources such as wood, stone and iron. These resources can then be used to craft tools, build structures and even feed the animals that are found in the game. One of these animals is the cow, which can be found in grazing in the fields. To feed the cow, players must collect wheat and then use it to lure the cow towards them. Once the cow is close enough, the player then can feed the wheat to the cow, which will increase the cow's health bar and allow it to produce more resources such as milk and leather. So taking the time to feed the Minecraft cows is an important part of the game that allows players to progress further and have more resources at their disposal. It appears that the time has arrived to gather the pumpkins from the field. This is a crucial step in the process of growing pumpkins, as the timing of the harvest can greatly affect the quality of the final product. Before beginning the harvest, it is important to assess the condition of the pumpkins and ensure that they are fully ripe. Once the pumpkins have been gathered, they must be properly cleaned and stored in a cool, dry place to ensure their longevity. It is also important to consider the various uses for the pumpkins, which can range from culinary applications to decorative purposes. Overall, the harvest of pumpkins is a key component in the cultivation of this popular crop and requires careful attention to detail and planning. 
As the fall season approaches, it's not only pumpkins that are ready for harvest, another crop that is ripe for the picking is sugarcane. Tall perennial grass is cultivated in warm tropical climates and is often used to produce sugar, molasses and other sweetness. Depending on the variety of sugarcane that can grow up to 15 feet tall and is typically harvested by hand or machine. Once harvested, the sugarcane is processed to extract the sweet juices that are then used in a variety of foods and beverages products. So while pumpkin spice may be the flavour of the season, let's not forget about the importance of sugarcane and the hard work that goes into its harvest. It appears that the Minecraft AI is currently engaged in the process of smelting iron ore. This particular activity is an essential aspect of the game, as iron ore is a valuable resource that can be crafted into a variety of useful items such as weapons, tools and armour. Smelting involves using a furnace to heat up the iron ore, which then transforms into iron ingots that can be used for crafting. The Minecraft AI is likely working diligently to perform this task in order to acquire the necessary resources to progress further in the game. It appears that the Minecraft artificial intelligence once again engaged in the task of mining, in the hopes of acquiring an ample supply of diamonds. This precious resource is highly sought after in the game, and it can be used to craft powerful tools and weapons, as well as to trade with other players. The AI's dedication to this endeavour is admirable, and it speaks to the complexity of the game mechanics that such a task would require the use of an artificial intelligence. It will be interesting to see what other tasks the AI is capable of performing, and what other resources it may uncover in its mining efforts.
We are embarking on yet another exciting mining expedition in Minecraft, where we will delve into the bowels of the earth in search of valuable resources. As we begin this journey, we can't help but feel a sense of anticipation and adventure, wondering what kind of treasures we might uncover. The thrill of discovering rare ores and gems, the satisfaction of crafting powerful tools and weapons, and the challenge of navigating treacherous cave systems will all await us on this expedition. With each swing of our pickaxe, we will be one step closer to achieving our mining goals and building the ultimate Minecraft fortress. So let us grab our gear, light our torches and venture forth into the unknown depths of the Minecraft world, ready for whatever challenges may come our way. It seems that we have stumbled upon a vein of redstone. Thanks for watching today's video. We appreciate your support and would love it if you could take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see our Minecraft AI do in the future, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We're always looking for ways to improve our content and provide you with the best possible experience. In case you're curious, the script for today's video was generated entirely by AI. We're excited to explore the possibilities of this technology and would love to hear your thoughts on the final product. Did you find it engaging? Did it exceed your expectations? Let us know in the comments below.